Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and today we're going to be jumping into Season 2, Episodes 7, 8, and 9 of Kaguya-sama, Love is War. I'm excited for this. We're getting closer to the end of the season. We are coming off of the election. I haven't recorded Kaguya in a while. All of those things adding to the excitement of three more episodes of Kaguya and I put up two fingers instead of three. The botches have begun. That's how you know we're back. But uh, yeah, I, I actually just recorded Spy Family before this, which is going to go up after this. But like, you know, I'm getting some videos done and then probably finish off the night by filming the Invincible finale. And then um, I'll have what will probably end up being the next three videos recorded. But this will be the first one you see because uh, we're starting with Kaguya this weekend. But I think we ended up, you know, posting for a while, and then we missed two days, and then we had the Gintama video last, uh, or technically it's, yeah, I guess it was yesterday for me, because it's 1.40 in the morning. This is getting recorded, hopefully, about a little, little over 10 hours before it goes up, and by the time we finish, this will probably be a little under nine hours, because we have three episodes, and that'll probably take at least an hour and a half, knowing me. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. This should be fun. Don't really know what to expect. Obviously, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some Miko stuff focused on her because she's um, in the position to potentially, you know, join the student council and all that fun stuff after the election arc. And I feel like that's potentially going to be at the focus. She might be at the forefront of a lot of what they do here because um, we're not quite going to get to the finale stuff. So I do feel like uh, that's going to be a deal where we're... Um, we're, uh, uh, we're going to do that. And I, I do want to mention, we're not actually getting to the finale in the next video. Um, the sets are really interesting and this is kind of the weird, we're getting to the weird thing in my sets, but I will say that we're not doing the season finale in the next video. I do want to actually mention that before we get around to that. Um, cause that's going to be a whole weird thing with how the sets are structured. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. It should be fun. You know, Kaguya's fun. I'm kind of having a fun day. You know, I get to watch, you know, Spy Family, Kaguya, kind of fun stuff. And then I'm going to ruin everything by watching the Invincible finale, which I'm sure will not be fun. Uh, it'll be awesome, I'm sure, but not, not fun in the same sense as these. But uh, I am looking forward to this. This should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm definitely curious to see how things go post-election, how Miko most likely gets assimilated into everything, because in all likelihood, that's where this is going. Uh, and yeah, what hijinks we get up to. I'm kind of expecting more of just like fun Kaguya hijinks. I feel like the next video might be where we start to get more into like serious stuff, because obviously the first season ended on a high note with, you know, like emotional stuff with Kagi and the fireworks and all that stuff. I feel like we'll get a similar thing this season where we'll end on like an emotional high of the story. Uh, but I think before that, we're going to get into some more fun now that we're past the election stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the pulse that I have on the show. So... In other words, they're actually going to kill off Ishigami, and I'm going to cry. That's what's actually going to happen, uh, knowing my predictions. Anyways, let's jump into Season 2, Episode 7 of Kaguya in 3, 2, 1, and play. Pansu. That's a way to start. Wow. Wow. What the fuck? Ah, uh, the hell? Ponsu. Yeah, it looked like he was about to masturbate. That makes more sense. No. What the fuck? Wow! Shitting on him. What the fuck? 
Wow. I like the tightness. I don't even know what to say to that. Wow. <laughs> Damn boxer brief supremacists. Facts. All facts. Wow. I mean, that's honestly fair, too. <laughs> Damn, they're fuckboys, huh? Fuckboy Broxer briefs. Siri, define fuckboy. What the literal fuck, Ishigami? There's so many things to, to unpack in that cold open. What a way to get thrown back into some Kaguya, Jesus Christ. So let me guess, Kaguya's gonna wanna find out about fucking Miyuki's underwear now. Fucking hell, that's totally where this is going. This OP is great. I know I've had, you know, it took a little convincing, but this OP is great. I swear to God, this happens to me with so many anime. Bro, the first time I heard rumbling, I wasn't even that blown away. Which is one of my favorite anime themes of all time. So even with some of my favorites, that first time, it just doesn't hit, hit for whatever reason. Sometimes they do from the start. This is one that's really grown on me a lot. I swear I say that about every opening ever, but... That's kind of the way I am, though. When I like a song, I need to listen to it over and over again. I like to... I can listen to the same song a million times. So the repetitiveness of watching the opening... Or the ending song a bunch of times. I think really helps to my enjoyment of the song. Mm-hmm. That's an interesting thing to potentially assume. He certainly could get some... What the fuck? Dude, what is the obsession with asses in the stuff I'm watching tonight? Bruh. What the literal fuck? Oh my god, the fucking loser Kaguya. Yeah, honestly, this is this I I get why what you're saying, but that doesn't change the fact that what you are desiring is rather perverted. Sure. Oh my god, the maiden walk. Oh, what kind of underwear do you like? Wait, is he... Wait, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? No! No! Ah! Oh my god. Yeah, that's a ballpoint pen, all right. Or pencil, sorry. A mechanical pencil. What the fuck am I talking about? Bro. Oh, no. I bet. 
What the fuck? The misunderstanding is going to be crazy. Oh no, fuck boy, fuck boy. Fuck boy! Miyuki, hey, hi. What the fuck? You just walked into one of the weirdest things ever. What the fuck? What the fuck did you just walk into? I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> the misunderstandings are wild! Bro, Miko over here. No! No! Don't assault me! That's wild! Well, Miyuki's reputation is in the trash. He immediately stopped wearing briefs. No, this poor man. This poor man betrayed himself. Yeah, I mean, like, it's kind of one of those things that's like, I don't really think, I mean, obviously people do, but I think like, like straight, like tidy whities I feel like very few people wear those nowadays. It's pretty... It's very, it's kind of, it's just very out of fashion. I mean, I'm sure I'm wrong. I'm sure more people wear them than I think, but it's not really, I feel like of all the different like male underwear options, it's kind of the one that people just don't really do that much anymore. Um, but like when I was like a kid, you know, but like, it's just not really, I don't know. It's a weird conversation to have, to be honest, but, like, who fuck, who gives a fuck, I guess. Anyways, let's see what's next. Oh, we're actually wants to make him secrete them. What are these titles? Especially coming off the, the underwear conversation, this looks so bad. He is. Okay, that's kind of wholesome. Reflexology, huh? Shout outs to the World Health Organization, I guess. What? Sure. No. How does one secrete such a... What the fuck? Wow, wow. I love that she's censoring herself. That's adorable. Ah! Oh! Holy shit! That was hilarious. Anti-cheating hormone secretion and love hormone synthesis. Positive feedback. What a what a what a way to frame it. Jesus Christ. This is why our girl is the queen. Hayasaka's crazy. Oh, they're playing this music too. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, bros in heaven. Bros gonna start secreting in a different way. That's wild. Oh. Oh, she's a demon. Okay. Oh. Nice. Oh my goodness. Love the chemistry memes. Oh, she's the one secreting. Fair enough. Oh, I bet. Badum badum. Pure love is gushing forth endlessly. Let's not talk about gushing. That anime just finished. Ugh. 
Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, bro, bro is literally on death's door. Oh no. What are you about to walk in on? Nico. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No! 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 In the Sacred Student Council room! They are animals, I'm with you. What the fuck? That's sapphic as fuck, and I'm here for it. That's wild. The misunderstandings are insane today. Sure, I guess. I mean, I guess if it worked in the end. Speaking of Shirogane, we got a different Shirogane now. I'll have it mild. Bro's about to... Yep, yep. It broke him. <laughs> Aww. At least they're bonding over something. What the literal fuck? Bro's literally training. His anti-confession training. Let's have a relationship just like in a girl's manga. I'm not that familiar with Shoujo, but something tells me whatever relationship you want, you don't want Shoujo manga relationship. Damn. I'm into it. I like... Oh, it got him! It got him anyways! It got him anyways. Oh my god, he went full! It still hits. That, that's the thing, right? Like, I'm, I'm really... I love pain and, like, tears. Like, make me cry, please. I love when a series makes me cry. You're actually not wrong. Yep. Yeah. Aww. What the fuck, of course. Yeah, everyone's in love with this fucking manga. Now I want to read this probably fictional manga, but it might be based on a real one. I wouldn't be surprised. There you go. Honestly. Yeah, she did. She got jabated so hard. Yep. Yep. Not me! What the fuck? Utana is like, unironically, maybe the greatest anime I've ever seen. Like, it's, it's in the discussion. God, I still need to watch the movie, but I also can't bring myself to watch the movie. Damn, just get fucking dunked on. Studying, huh? Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. So it just sounds like cliche. What the fuck? Holy shit. Dude, dude, Eno is never going in the student council room. Yes. Holy shit, what a demon. 
Aww. I love the drawings, too. Jesus Christ! Oh my god! What the fuck? Ah, uh, I'll have it mild. I'll have it mild, okay. Okay, there's the... Wow. Wow, now it's their turns. Yeah, you guys are doing the exact same thing she did. They've gone into full JoJo mumbles. Yeah. She doesn't need to be saved. Damn, everyone fucking loses. Jesus Christ, literally everyone. And then she read it anyways! Oh, that's amazing! Oh, that's such a great way to end the episode. Holy shit. Oh, I love the CD. Mm-hmm. Of course. That's a very fitting line given the segment we just watched. Dude, the fucking the fucking recurring gag of every time Eno shows up at the student council room, something fucking degenerate as shit is going on is is amazing. I don't know if that gag's ever going to get old. If that happens the rest of the season, I'm here for it. Oh, it feels so good to be back, baby. What the fuck? There's... Why is there six minutes left? Oh my god. The art style. Shut the fuck up. Is she writing her own fan fiction? What is this? The fan fiction. Yo! I am in love. I don't know with who, but I am in love. In the fucking voice acting of Kaguya. What the fuck? Dude, Shoujo Kaguya is crazy. Dude. Dude! Girly Kaguya wants to be confessed to? No way! Fucking Shoujo Kaguya. Dude, I, dude, don't, get, this might be way more cliche, but I wish this, I, I, part of me wishes this with the series. Why are they so hot, dude? Shoujo pretty boys are like the hottest thing in the universe. It's wild. Now, Kaguya does look slightly weird, to be fair. <laughs> All these men are so attractive. Girls manga brain, let's go. Yo! The fucking narrator! Yep. Oh my lord. Girls manga syndrome is at play. Yes! Even the narration's weird. She doing the, the thing with the face slap. What? The fucking sparkles everywhere! This is amazing! For you and me. What is happening? What is happening? Mm. 
Well, it is shoujo, though, so there, there, there's going to be the weird gay undertones, right? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that is something that did canonically happen. Oh, what is happening? Ishigami. I, I, bro. The Doki Doki. I feel it. <sighs> this is the greatest thing ever. This is, might be the greatest moment in the history of Kaguya-sama. What the fuck? But, um... Why? What the fuck, rose petals? Roses! This is so stereotypical. I think the part I hate the most is how much I just want to watch. Like, clearly, you guys are just seeing The Awakening that I just want to watch this type of fucking anime, to be completely honest. Which is facts. And we'll get there. We barely dived into, like, anything in the... In those... What the fuck? No! You were... Yokozuna. You I was about to say, you're talking about sumo. What a way to ruin the mood. Sumo is pretty sick, though. It is pretty cool. Holy shit. Aww. That's actually the most romantic thing. Oh my god! It fucking showed you to her back! What the fuck? Oh my god. Yep, yep, they're all shoujo fine! What the fuck? It's just the tone of voice. The guys sound so cool and the girls sound so fucking nervous. Bro. And the fucking shadow effect on the angle. Everything about this is so perfect. Like, I've barely, like, I've really barely seen, like, anything in the genre, and I still understand how brilliant the ah, troops are. Okay, that's just great. What a line. And she ruins everything. Oh, everything about this is wild. Oh, my God, right back in. I will say, though, while this is not what Utena's like, it does make me want to watch Utena again. And if you haven't seen Utena, watch it. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. A sad sausage party. It's pretty cool. Aquarium is pretty cool. <sighs> Bro, that shit caught me so off guard. Like, don't get me wrong. I've been, like, jabated plenty of times. Oh, the ED plays. Oh, there's fucking five minutes left in the episode. Like, that shit happens all the fucking time in my reactions. But I will say, I feel like I was jabated in the sense that I wasn't prepared for peak. Right? They hit the ED, I'm chilling. I'm like, that was a fun episode. I really enjoyed that. Little did I fucking know that I was about to say the wrong show. Kaguya was about to fucking reach its peak. And we were about to get the best segment in the history of Kaguya-sama Love is War. I don't care what anyone says. Shoujo Kaguya, fucking girly Kaguya-sama is peak. Holy shit. I, bro, I would fucking murder someone for, like, a spinoff series of Shoujo Kaguya. Fucking, holy Jesus, that was amazing. That, like, I had, like, things to say about this episode, and it's all fucking gone. All, all I'm thinking about now is just peak. Like, I, we actually just got over-fucking-whelmed by the best 
fucking thing in this show. I don't care what anyone says. That was peak. That was the best. That was the best thing ever. That, like... In what universe was that not glorious? I, I mean, unbelievable stuff. Fantastic. God, I love that. I don't even know what to say about the Shoujo Kaguya memes. Like, that was just amazing. Like, there's really nothing else to say. Like, this was just fire to the highest order. Like, obviously, we got, like, the underwear memes. And, like, that was pretty funny. I enjoyed the underwear saga. And I like how... Um, again, like I said, it played on all the misunderstandings with Eno, where, um, you know, she would come in to some crazy shit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just, just, this was really kind of misunderstandings the episode. There was a lot of misunderstandings, whether with Kaguya and Miyuki or, you know, Eno having misunderstanding after misunderstanding as a reoccurring gag throughout the episode, which potentially might be a reoccurring gag for her moving forward beyond just this particular episode. We'll have to see on that front. Um, but all of that was really cool. And then on top of that, you just get the just, you know, it just kind of escalates into just, you know, the massage was ridiculous, of course. But then you get finally to the girls manga segment and everyone just is in love with this manga. Every single person cries to this manga. And it just it just turned them all fucking loopy. And we get, again, we get the ED. But the ED was just a bait. They were just, just fucking with us. Because they were like, well, yeah, it's the end of the episode. Because this ain't, this isn't an episode anymore. This is just peak. And we got peak. That last sec, oh my god. <laughs> That was the best thing ever. Like, I don't know how you top that. That was amazing. I feel like that almost ruins the rest of the video for me. Because nothing we watch in the next two episodes is going to top that unless we get a sequel. The only thing that could top this is more of the same. Right? It's the fucking... It's... it's it, it, you know, for anyone who's watched The Incredibles, sometimes the only thing that could beat something is itself. And if you, if you know the reference, you get it. And if you don't, it's vague enough that it doesn't, like, fuck with your experience. That's the way to do it. Anyways, um, that was amazing. I don't even, like, really want to talk about the rest of the episode anymore. Like I said, like, all of this other stuff was cool. I really enjoyed it. Like, the underwear shit was really funny. The, uh, the massage thing was ridiculous. You know, misunderstanding Queen Eno was great, but like everything just gets thrown out the window when you end it with the best segment in the history of Kaguya Sama Love is War. Factual statement like, there's no denying that this was just the best thing ever. And that's where we are. We peaked. It can't get better from here. So, uh, yeah, we might as well end the series. I had a lot of fun. We watched. A lot of great episodes of Kaguya. It was really fun. You know, 19-episode series, as it turns out. Little did I know that Season 2, Episode 7 was just peak. And there's no point in continuing. So I want to thank you guys all for a wonderful experience watching Kaguya-sama. And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, next time we'll be starting a new series. Uh, should be a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. All right, you guys begged for it. I guess we'll finish Kaguya. I mean, I don't see the point. That was peak, but whatever. Season two, episode eight, I guess. Fuck it. Three, two, one. Play. All right. Now, all right. Miko is the auditor. Yep, everything's just awkward.
Uh-huh. Yep, of course. Yep, yep. They're just fucking daily. Dude, Hayasaka wishes. Wow. This won't last long. What the fuck? Miko over here, a little simp for Fujiwara. That part's true. Damn, she's just fucking ace attorneying that fucking desk. Oh shit. <laughs> no, they actually aren't romantically involved. Ah, it literally is overflowing. Yeah, it's dripping down your legs, girl. Jesus, stop. Damn, let's discipline the student council. She doesn't care. That's who she is. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Bro, she... Jesus Christ, Kaguya. Calm the fuck down. Holy shit. That was some Kaguya-level fucking shit. The literal exact same thing. The exact same thing that Ishigami said. Yeah, oh my god, dude. Fucking Eno is a fucking... I mean, that's true, but fucking Eno is so in love with Fujiwara, it's wild. It's about as obvious as you two, Miyuki Ikagia. Honestly. What the fuck? This poor girl toyed with her emotions. What the fuck? He doesn't really do anything. Oh my god. Damn, he just swagged that shit. That was insane. It's gonna get worse. I was gonna say a bag of chips. I knew it. Based. His parties? I don't know if I'd call it a party. Bro's just eating some... What? What in the Mario Kart? I mean, is it literally Mario Kart? That'd be funny. Bro. Bro, it is Marine Kart! Damn, I can't believe I got that right. As someone who doesn't play Mario Kart, I actually recognize the font of the numbers. Fucking Twitter, man. Ew. Gag me. Dude, Fujiwara, uh, fucking ch bad influence on Miko over here. Dude, Fujiwara, you're the worst. What the fuck is that, Luigi? What the fuck? No. No. No, please stop. So, no, it's not cute. Why do people think this is cute? This is fucking the opposite of cute. This is literally just softcore furrydom, which I guess if you're a furry, cool. Like, I get it. But if you're not a furry, I'm really fucking confused. No, hot take. That shit ain't cute. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's kind of funny. I don't mind the mustache. Wow. 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 Both of them are not the type. They're trying so hard. A TV anchor who's trying to des- <laughs> Just as they click onto her youth. Oh my god. She's trying so hard! 
That actually is kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. She looks like a fish, which is ironic given marine cart. Number two, huh? Bro is focused. He's competitive. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, the music. Oh my god. Yes, that's totally what she was going for. Dude, she just died inside. She literally died inside. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, you guys both fucking lose. God, that was ridiculous. Aww. Jesus Christ, what a demon. Fujiwara wins. Yeah, yeah. Minus five to Miko's pushiness. What the fuck? What the actual fuck was any of that? What the fuck? This is a real... Th uh, this has to be a... What the fuck? Wait, she's ready for it? She's not frightened? Bro, that'd be so crazy if the plot twist is at the end of the season they just kiss. Because, like, there is a part of me that, like, I do kind of wonder how long this series is. I'm pretty sure the series isn't over. I feel like people have confirmed this for me one way or the other. Um, but, well, you guys are locked in. Hi, Asaka. Oh, yeah, this is a fucking anime trope, isn't it? The sign that things will become degenerate. Wild. Well, that sucks. That's crazy. Yeah, because you're wearing your gym stuff, yeah. She's set the, yeah, she's, uh, yep. Damn. Damn. Suspension of bridge. Dude, dude. I mean, it sounds fake, but yep. Yep. Oh my god! It actually happened! Yep, that's so great. It's too simple of a track not to be obvious. They're both playing into each other. Yo, they're literally too smart for this shit. That's the that's the giveaway, you idiots. It's too shallow for either of you. This is crazy. This is so stupid. This is actually really clever, though. Wow. God, this is so stupid. I wonder if we're really going to get some progress here, though. 
This is the type of weird scenario that would enact progress. They're just playing into it. This is so stupid. The fucking music, too. God, I love this show. You fucking nerds. Ew. You idiots. You fucking idiots. And they aren't even thinking about two different things. But, well... This is so stupid. Yeah, because they think, they both think they have the upper hand, which is allowing both of them, yes, exactly, to take the initiative. That's, dude, the narrator is literally doing my job for me, Jesus Christ. Yep. So they're being way more forward than they normally would be. There, th this is wild. Oh, he just realized. Oh my god, the cliche! The cliche! There it is! There's the shot that we saw at the beginning. The thing happened. It's as real as anything else, yep. Yo. Yo. Oh my god. So he's gonna pussy out, right? There's no way, right? Right? There's no way. It's too early. Dude, I'm getting chills. Holy shit. Now my nipples are getting hard too. Let's go! No, I'm just kidding. I, d I did get chills though for a second. There's no way. This just makes it even worse. What the fuck? Honestly, just let me die, bro. I can't handle this. Dude, that just broke me. I don't know why I didn't predict that. I didn't see that coming. That's been the meme, you know, interrupting at the worst possible times. But I got lost in the fucking moment. I thought he would pussy out, but of course it was something else. Oh my god, he's gonna get it for her. Oh my god, he didn't even think about it. And then he realized what he did. It's like I put it there the whole time. Oh. Um. Whoa. She like actually having a heart attack? What the fuck? I swear this is part of one of her games. That's not funny. Yeah, she's... Yeah, I'm not surprised. She feels like the type of character that would have... Oh my god, they're really going there, huh? That's wild, given the last episode in the girls' manga show. Oh my god, the army of doctors for Lady Kaguya. Kaguya wants to be examined. This is insane. Pediatric heart bypass. The God Hand. Interesting. 
Of course he is. That makes sense. Yeah, there are priorities. Hmm. Interesting. It's ironic because she could in moments confuse that for um, emotion, like emotional response. Is, she, is he about to say what I think he's going to say? It's exactly what I thought he was going to say. What the literal fuck? <laughs> she is a contrary. Ah, being edgy. Yes. Literally, the Doki Doki is going to kill her. Forty seven cuts ago, by the way. It must be a heart condition. The fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck, Hayasaka? Jesus Christ, fucking, yeah, CAT scan and everything, oh, it's something more advanced than that. Very pretty, healthy heart. Wow. What is this Doki Doki music? What the fuck? Wow. Yes, you do. Oh, she is literally dying of embarrassment. Hayasaka is the one that's about to die. Damn. What the fuck is this interrogation? The president is quite perfect as a human being. Wild. And her heartbeat elevate her heart rate ele elevates, yep. This is so embarrassing. Yes, I know, honestly, honestly. Crazy. I mean there was the shoujo incident. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, that, duh. Fucking idiot. Literally this episode. Girl is trying so hard to deny what is patently obvious. Wait, bro. Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit. We gotta fuck that shit up with the meta. Honestly. Oh my god, you are so ridiculous. 
Jesus Christ, Hayasaka. She, like, forcefully pushed her down. That's wild that, like, it embarrasses Hayasaka that much. That's crazy. Yeah, that's just wild. Yeah, just leave it at that. Oh, my goodness. No. Yeah. Gods, it's all your fault. That's wild. Nayatake, your daughter is doing what? What the fuck did that? Just random fucking story element they're not going to pick up at all, probably. All right, we're actually at the end of the episode this time. Thank you, uh, fucking Kaguya. I'm not getting blindsided this time. It really does feel, and again, I know I've said this before, but it really does feel like we are slowly making progress. Like, it feels like they are getting closer and closer to actually kissing or getting together or what have you. And it does make me wonder if there's going to be any transitional period between them getting together and the actual end of Kaguya-sama Love is War. Because... I don't know how much longer they could drag this out. Like, I kind of feel like next season, man. Uh-huh. Very nice. I really do love that ED. It's fucking great. Okay, that was episode eight of Kaguya Sama Love is War. And uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty good. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. We got a. If. Honestly, probably the closest call we've ever had between Miyuki and Kaguya with them nearly kissing. And, of course, Eno had to interrupt it. And I can't believe I got lost in the moment enough that I didn't actually see that coming. That was so predictable. And I was just lost in the sauce. Because I do, like, legitimately want to see Miyuki and Kaguya get together. Because they're fucking adorable together. And because of that, I'm a fucking mark. And then I, I forget that this is Kaguya-sama. And motherfucking Eno is going to come in and think that fucking Yuki's trying to fucking assault Kaguya. It shouldn't be funny, but weirdly, weird, weirdly, weirdly, it, it, the humor does hit. Um, but yeah, no, that episode was great. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I think the fact that Kaguya's um, love, I love how like, this show makes fun of, like, shoujo manga and shoujo anime for being, like, uh, you know, like, the kind of over-romanticized and, like, this ridiculous fantasy. And yet, at the same time, Kaguya's so in love with Miyuki that she's literally having fucking heart attacks, practically. Like, like this shit's crazy. But, like, that's kind of part of what makes Kaguya, like, amazing. Is, like, it's super parodical, while still maintaining a level of levity towards its own narrative in the sense that as much as it's making fun of these type of stories, it still very much is one of those type of stories. I feel like in a lot of ways, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure manages to do that, right? Like really well. And I feel like Kaguya-sama for its own genre. And I, I've said before that there are things about Kaguya that reminds me of JoJo's, and I feel like that's very present in that sense, right? Because I feel like JoJo's is your typical classic, like, battle shonen anime, but it's making fun of them, but it's still, it doesn't shy away from the elements that makes those stories, um, you know, iconic, whether they're tropes or not. 
I feel like Kagi is in that same boat for its for like a like rom com, right? Like I feel like it makes fun of other rom coms while still falling generally falling into the realm of a romantic comedy and still falling into those tropes and not being afraid of those tropes, despite the fact that the show is making fun of those of 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 of, of, of its contemporaries, right? I think that's really cool that the show it pokes fun at its contemporaries while still being true to itself. And I feel like when a show can find a balance like that, it's a really fun experience. And I think that's something that Kaguya has done really well as a series. And one of the many reasons I really enjoy Kaguya-sama Love is War. Um, I'm not at the point where I'm dying for them to, to kiss, but I do definitely feel like if not, like, I feel like we're getting there. I'm actually really curious more than ever if we're going to get what we're going to get for this finale. Because it definitely feels like we're trending in that direction. I I think season three gets interesting because I don't know how much longer this can go without them actually getting together. Like, while, with it still feeling within reason. So, I, I'm definitely... And again, this is, again, obviously their last year with the student council. So I don't feel like we're super duper far away from the end of Kaguya. Now, again, I don't necessarily know if I think season three, you know, and like what we have left to react to after this is necessarily constituting the end of the series. But I definitely think we are not super far away. Like, I definitely think we are creeping in that direction and that does have me very excited because of the, the, the potential of Miyuki and Kaguya's relationship going somewhere serious is super exciting and something that I think all of us obviously would love to see. So I am very curious to see what they do in the season two finale and if that gives me much of a pulse on uh, how far we might get in season three and if we might even go all the way in season three because I am super fucking excited for season three. I, I, I can't wait. I think season three uh, has the potential to be amazing, especially if we really take that next step. I feel like uh, season three very well might be the best season. Um, and if that's the case, then uh, that'd be a really good season because season one was awesome and I've really enjoyed season two a lot. I don't know if I'd necessarily take season two over season one. Um... But I, you know, this show's great. It's very consistently fun. Um, and it's just a blast to watch. And, like, the memes are always funny. And it's just a good time all around. And there's nothing wrong with a show that's just a good fucking time. And that's definitely one way to describe Kaguya-sama. But uh, we still got one more episode. I'm curious if, wh where we're going to go with this episode. Because, uh, cause, you know, we generally had a theme Right? Like, Eno has really not uh, melded into the student council yet because outside of being corrupted by Fujiwara, the only thing that's really happened is she keeps running in on uh, the Prez and the VP getting freaky and, uh, and, and, and being uh, disgusted by it despite the fact that they are very much not getting freaky and it is, in fact, misunderstandings, not that she really buys that. So I think... Um, Maybe we get a conclusion to that, but I also wouldn't be surprised if that continues to be a running gag the rest of the season, or maybe just the fucking rest of the series. Um, but certainly, if that's a running gag the rest of the season, I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised. I don't know. I don't know. This was kind of, I feel like, the end of something, so I'm actually really curious and slightly nervous that the set ends at episode 9, because it 7 and 8 felt like they went together in a weird way, even if, like, thematically, even if they weren't... Uh, like necessarily like a two-parter or an obvious continuation. They just fit well together. So if episode nine, I'm expecting something pretty spa saucy for this episode. Um, so yeah, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I don't think I really have much else to say. So let's just check it out. Alrighty, let's jump into season two, episode nine of Kaguya in three, two, one, and play. All right, so this is just kind of... It sounds like we are going to kind of get somewhere with this Eno thing. She's been deeply disturbed, yep. 
Well, we had the Ishigami wants to quit arc. Now it's the Eno wants to quit arc. I'm down for it. Ba ba ba. I feel so cheated as you look away is an interesting line given oh, the whole uh, massage storyline that we did in this set. Daddy, daddy, do. Aw. So adorable. Honestly, that might as well be a microcosm for the entire series. Something finally is going to happen, and then somebody cucks it. Usually Fujiwara, although Eno's the new cuck. Uh, I don't want to call... No, that's not... You guys know what I'm trying to say. She's the one cucking us now. Does not exist. Yo, oh my god, I love the way they went to the widescreen. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's... 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 Ino-chan, no longer Kaguya-sama, it's e yeah, Student Council Wars! Yo, that's amazing. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Realists of unparalleled cruelty. This is literally like the opposite of what's going on. Aww. This is so ridiculous. This is literally the opposite of what's going on, girl. Although, although they are intimidating as fuck. I do agree with that. They don't realize it, but they are. I love the red and blue, yeah, yeah. God, we're making fun of all the fucking manga and anime in this set. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, fucking Fujiwara in the flower field. You are so in love with her, it's wild. Get fucked. Actually get, actually get cocked, what the fuck. Jesus Christ. This girl is so madly in love with Fujiwara. It was, it's... Oh, wow. Talk about melodramatic. Oh my god, this is so great. Wow. She's brought the winds of change. What the fuck is happening? The fucking shots of the... I'm getting vibes of various different anime. I mean, that part's probably true, but that is not how it works. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, that's... That's not... Wow. Jesus Christ! It's like, that, that's the type of shit Kagi used to say. Far from... Yep, yep, the sexy black lingerie, the fuck boy, yep. A horrifying sex club. Yes, that is the reality of the student council. What the fuck? Wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, we got a Peanuts reference.
Gotta love it. Um, 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 sus. Damn, Fujiwara. Damn, why do they all look so hot in that envisionment, though? That shit's crazy. Aww. That's really, that's really wholesome. Why do I, why do I feel like, is there a 50 shape of love? You're such a Disney princess. Was it your best friend that gave you that? Mm, are you about to... She definitely does. Of course. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, the fuckboy insult. Hush, boy. <laughs> Both parts true, but... but... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm the pervert. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! What the literal fuck? Honestly, this is believable to an outsider. I love everything going on here. Holy shit. Ah, uh, so Kagi is the villain now. Holy shit. I mean, this part actually happens. This. Yep. Oh, so now, now it's just Kagi who's the devil. Oh my. The demonic smile. What the hell? Yo, that's amazing. I mean, we have seen... Wow, I love how it's so similar to the way that Fujiwara swings that thing at Ishigami. Wow. Yes. Honestly, honestly, this is more believable. I'm not gonna lie. This is more believable. Yeah. I mean, not true, but from an outsider perspective, believable. Technically kind of true. What the hell? The whistle, oh my god. Please give yourself up. That's a weird way to put it. Um, um... Oh, the misunderstandings. This is the king of misunderstandings. Or I guess the queen, because it's Kaguya. Aww. Wow. Wow. She's like, wait, what the fuck? Dude, Eno's losing a... Yep. Everyone loses. Eno loses. Okay. Yeah, that was actually adorable, that reaction. Jesus Christ. I am not reading all that. There's a few shows that would get me reading all that out of me. I'm, I'm, I I'm can't lie, I'm tempted, but I'm not reading it. Probably just profiling on Eno, if I had to guess. Damn. I wonder if it's because of what Eno said to her. Yep. That's definitely the case. 
It's more about the motivation. Um, what the fuck? Well, that makes sense. I mean, you guys did almost kiss, yes. Uh, now it's now it's brain disorders. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Heart now brain. Come on, girl. Finally get together with your boy. Oh my god. A routine. Okay. Hey, baseball player. And we got... Yep, all the different sports going on here. Oh my. Okay, I can vibe for it. Vogue. Yep, yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. It's really interesting to relate it to sports. Uh, you see this a lot, like a free throw routine in basketball, in like soccer and football, you know, various types of routines, like in soccer before a free kick or before a corner kick. Um, football, like I said, before a kickoff or something. Wow. Interesting. Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is easy to forget sometimes. Aw. Yo, that's insane. But that's the thing, though. She has to chuck your cheek. So, and she, there's going to be scenarios where you're not able to. Here we go. Oh my god. Fighting game memes. Oh my god. I need this. Hospitalized if Kaguya reaches 10 plus. Oh my goodness. It's within one meter. Yep. Create some distance. Oh my god. Hand is grabbed. Yo, this is amazing. I love this. Damn, she is getting cooked right now. Routine. Only one problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. You literally just got countered. Hold break technique. Wow. Uh. Yes, actually, in a way. No, it's quite the opposite. Wow, he actually said it. He actually said it. There's the tail. Oh, no, oh, no, another heart attack. Unlimited power! Holy fuck. Bro's got unlimited power! Oh my god, she actually judo throwed it through him. Oh my god, what the fuck? You win! Are you sure you want to win? You lose. 
Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Why is she wearing VR goggles? Yep. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, shut up. Alright, what now? Interesting. Of course. That's such a Ishigami thing to say. Oh? Damn. Self-reflection from you? I'm I'm in I'm in. Holy shit. What the fuck? No. Party animals, let's go. Of course! Lit with a lot of eyes is not something I expected to see today. Oh my god, did we find a girl who did the same thing? Aldera? <laughs> Why? Get those noggins jogging. Oh my goodness. This poor guy. I hope he bonds. I hope this is like, um, ends up being a little like a certain, uh, mob psycho, uh, Instagrammable red team has to be the worst name I've ever heard. Wow. It got worse. Oh my God, please stop talking. And you an Insta over line, Jesus Christ. I love how he's got their great ratings, oh my god. Everything about this is insane. Wow. Yes! Let's go! Double cross dressing. That shit, that's what I call based. Oh god, yes, I need that. Oh god, yes. This also sounds like fucking Doki music. Which is ironic given Ishigami and one particular bit last season. That's crazy. Oh no. Yeah, don't do Eno. Nice. Yep. There's no way on earth you could ask Kaguya, but... Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Because I value my life. <laughs> Aww. She is based, absolutely, but never say that again, Ishigami. Oh my god. Oh my god, Eno's gonna walk in! 
No. No. Yes, Crossdresser Is Ishigami. I need this arc. Oh my god. She's about to walk in on this. Oh my god. <laughs> he is. He is. He really is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, come on. What girl isn't into... What girl isn't into making a pretty boy cross-dress? Let's be completely honest. It's just facts. Ishigami! <laughs> Holy shit! Am I finally making my drag debut? He didn't even realize what he just said. Dude, why does every show have cross-dressing in it? But also, oh my god, he went she went full gay show with the makeup. Oh my god. I can't are you jealous? Yes! Oh yeah, totally not, Miyuki. I'm so proud of him. That is awesome. Interesting. The sports festival of victories and defeats. That we're, I guess we're going to do next uh, set, potentially. Oh, my. Yeah, I mean, that's why well, I, I, I made that joke myself. Like, like, this is the whole, like, the meme of, like, having sisters that, like, force you to, you know, like, the, it's the sister, it's the older sister meme. Especially if there's multiple of them and the one boy, it's like, yeah, it's the meme. But, uh, yeah, that was episode 9 of Kaguya-sama Season 2. And, uh, yeah, it was really good. I mean, again, I feel like I'm, you know, broken record. Me and enjoying episodes of stuff. But, uh, yeah, you know, Ishigami is awesome, as always. Love me some Ishigami. Ino just freaking out, and her friend managed to convince her that Kaguya is the devil, not Miyuki. So, I mean, I, I feel like that's closer to the truth. Not to say it is, but... Between the Prez and the VP, the VP is closer to the devil than the Prez. I'll, I'll give her that. So I feel like she got a tiny bit closer to the truth, if nothing else. So, you know, we'll take that, I guess. I guess that's a W. I don't know. I mean, it's something, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what a fantastic little set of Kaguya. It was really fun. Like I said, getting the the post-election stuff with um, Miko being involved in the student council. And by involved, again, I literally just mean walking in at the most inopportune moments involving Miyuki and Kaguya over and over again. That was her entire involvement pretty much in this set. But that's still a funny bit, even if one one time mixed in here in the gym uh, storage shed scene, she actually cucked us hardcore, but uh, it is what it is, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, overall, a lot of good stuff. You know, Ishigami cross-dressing is fire. Like, we are here for that all the fucking day. Um, you know, especially when it's someone cute like Ishigami, like... But, uh, yeah, I mean, really good stuff all around. Really enjoyed that set. Really nice to get back into Kaguya. It's weird because next time we're technically not finishing the season. And um, to, to explain that a little bit more, we have an OVA. I know we have an OVA. But we also have something else to watch. 
that I've been told is something to actually watch. So, um, you know, the, the, the set that will include the final episode of season two is going to have like a lot of different stuff. I have no idea how the fuck I'm going to title this video over on, uh, YouTube, but, uh, it'll be interesting. And then we obviously have season three and then we have whatever the movie is, um, Again, I don't know if it's, like, the end of Kaguya or it's just the most recent thing. Um, and I'm, like, pretty sure I could be wrong about this, but I'm, like, pretty sure it's, like, I don't even know if it's really, like, a movie. It's just kind of, like, a mini series or mini season or whatever that was, like, released altogether. Um, I, I think that's what it actually is, but the point is, is that will be, you know, a video, obviously. So we'll find out, I guess, when we get there, but, uh... Yeah, really good stuff. I, I'm really excited to see what goes on. Obviously, we're going to follow up on Ishigami's uh, stuff with the cheer squad and becoming friends with the uh, number two in command and all that stuff that's going to go down could be really interesting. It's great to see Ishigami getting out of his shell a little bit. It's honestly something I wasn't expecting anything like this. I, I thought him, you know, being a proper member of the student council was really the extent that we would get this to actually take it a step further and have him join the cheer squad is a really cool arc that, um, <clears throat> I think it'll be really easy, uh, really interesting to see how that progresses. And I'm excited about it. Like, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. So really looking forward to more of that. You guys know Ishigami is maybe my favorite character. I think it's really hard. Um, this is a show, it's pretty hard to rank my favorites. I think, I think Kaguya, Miyuki, and, uh, Ishigami, I, I, honestly, Ishigami might be my favorite. I feel like Kaguya, and it's not surprising she's the main character, but in a lot of shows, the, the main character isn't the most interesting. Um, but I feel like Kaguya honestly is the most interesting character. Um, but, like, Ishigami and Hayasaka are, like, the goats. Like, honestly, like, I feel like... Hayasaka is probably actually my favorite character because she's so good. But like I feel like Ishigami and Hayasaka are the two people I'm always most excited to see on screen. Um, but like Kaguya and Miyuki are fucking great. Like they they're great in their roles as the leads, and everything else kind of flows around them. And and Kaguya and Miyuki make this whole thing go round, and they, they really make it work. Um, but like I said, I feel like my favorite characters are Hayasaka and Ishigami because they're both just so goaded, you know, to, to use Ishigami's own words, they're both so fucking based. Um, <laughs> like unironically, Ishigami is crazy fucking based at times. It's wild. And obviously Hayasaka is just a fucking goddess. So that goes without saying, but, um. Yeah, it'd be really interesting to try and kind of piece together my favorite characters in this show because there's a lot of great characters and it's I think it's really hard to rank them because I, I do think like Kaguya is the most interesting character, but I do think like Ishigami and Hayasaka are probably the most enjoyable characters for me. But I do fucking adore Kaguya and I obviously really love Miyuki. Uh, Fujiwara is Fujiwara. We know Chika is... She's a Chika, all right. Um... But, uh, yeah, it, it, it's interesting all around for sure. But I'm definitely looking forward to the, uh, coming episodes. Like I said, hopefully we'll get to the next set rather soon, which I probably will. I don't know when it'll come out. I don't even know when, the, well, no, this video is coming out today. What am I talking about? I was mixing it up with the, the other thing I recorded. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this video will be up on the 6th in about 8 hours, actually, after finishing this. But, um, I don't know when we're gonna get the next set exactly, but it should be within the next week or so. And, uh, I'll probably record it really soon, actually. Probably, like, Monday? Maybe Tuesday? But I'll probably record it in a couple days, so that'll be fun. But uh, it's not really important. We're pretty much done here. Kaguya-sama, good shit. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Links down below in the description. You want to um, get in touch with me, Discord server, message me there. That's your best bet. Like I said, I kind of flow in and out. Sometimes I'm in there a lot. Sometimes I'm absent. But I, I usually try to get to people's 
things that they want to ask me stuff or whatever. But uh, anyways, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. The Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.